I'm Dennis, and this is a quick lesson on how to make Organite HHGs, or holy hand grenades. You will need a double terminated crystal. If you don't have a double terminated crystal, a single terminated crystal will do. You will need four single terminated crystals. You will need a mold that holds about 12 ounces. This is a handy one. This is a party hat. Tape on the seam keeps the resin from leaking out and you can set it right in a cutout cup bottle. Far and away one of the best molds for making HHGs is a martini glass. This one is from the dollar store. Spray with lubricant first. You will be glad you did. Another very effective HHG mold is a Gen Wax Pyramid Candle Mold. Also, lubricate it first. To make an HHG, first step, a little bit of metal. Enough resin to cover it. You can put the resin in first and then a little bit of metal. That works just as well. Now, give it a stir and set the double terminated crystal into the metal. If there's not enough in the bottom to hold it straight up, just add some more metal and eventually it will be thick enough that the crystal will stand on its own. There. More resin in the party hat. Metal, resin, metal. Double terminated crystal, if possible. Continue adding layers of metal and resin to about the 50% mark, or about halfway up your mold. At this point, the tip of your crystal should be protruding. Add your other crystals. Four single terminated crystals point outward to all four compass points. Continue adding resin and metal to fill. Proper HHG will be about 12 to 14 ounces in volume and about 14 to 16 ounces in weight. Generally, you do not have to add anything else for a perfectly efficient HHG. I do occasionally add a little blue kyanite and a little bit of selenite crystals. This turret tends to give your crystals in the HHG a good chance of staying charged and cleared rather than burned out, but not at all essential to a good piece. You can smooth out the metal. And wait! Charger. After about an hour or two, your resin should harden. If you've put too much hardener in and it's gotten hot, your piece will have cracks in it. That has really no effect on its efficiency. If you have not added enough hardener, it will take four hours, five hours, perhaps even a day to harden. But it will eventually. And when correctly done, when perfect HHG is the result. I'd like to acknowledge and thank Don Croft for his invention of this particular use for Organite and this particular shape. I'd also like to thank Carol Croft as well. That's it.